All right, good morning, everyone. Lewis Borslein, on Man Over Market. Sorry this video is coming out late, but I've tried it a couple of times. I have some technical, technical difficulties, but today is November 18th, and here's the morning call. All right, same old, same old. We got a contracted range overnight. Take a look at um, Globex highs, uh, 2042 and a quarter. We got Globex low at 2035.75. Um, top of value right here at 2039 and a quarter. We got the mode at 20.38 half. Um, we've got uh, the bottom here, 20.35.75, and then we got the low of value at 23.75. It also is the bull bear zone, 23.30.75. Um, so you know what's been going on for the last week and a half is uh, is contraction of the range, uh, and you know things moving in, in a higher mode. Let me give you the day so here's the day only um, profile as you can see we've got a pattern of higher lows of value higher modes the red line all right and then uh, this day uh, we couldn't take out the high we took out this high yesterday but we still haven't taken the value area high here and then you got the all-time high here at 43.75 Usually indicative in contractions is the fact that when they do break out, they go in the same area as the it was headed when it started. So that means it would be bullish. Um, value. Uh, the longer we stay in value, usually if I can, if, you know, I, when we can stay in value for, an, you know, at least an hour, an hour and a half, that gives us a good shot or opportunity for the fact that we may go trade the other side of value which is the bottom here. Um, when I looked at, uh, here's the overnight profile. I mean, here's the here's the uh, overnight mode at like basically 20.39 and a quarter. That's yesterday's mode. This bottom looks a little unfinished to me. Um, and yesterday's bottom looks like it's a little unfinished. But, um, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I, I've just got, you know, I'm sitting and stammering and hoping that we get better correction. But at the end of the day, I don't think anybody's going to rock the boat a week before Christmas because they can't buy the G.I. Joe dolls with the hand grenade and stuff and the Barbie dolls. Remember Eddie Murphy? Famous line. All right. So, um, from trading places. All right. So, we got the five minute pivot up here. At 20, 40, 60, and then I think ultimately we'll have resistance at 20, 44, um, because you know we'll be taking out the highs, but also that's where our 15 minute pivot is sitting. I could show that to you right here. Same methodology, different time frame, and we're sitting right up here at 20, 44. So, um, look. I know a lot of, well, maybe you younger people who've never seen rallies like this or whatever. I've never seen major corrections. But at the end of the day, um, I don't think they're going to rock the boat before Christmas. You know, for years we played this rally on the floor. And, uh, you know, I just think uh, it's going to be low volatility, low, low volume, and uh, they'll just creep it up on low volume until the end of the year. So... You know, unless some sort of news comes out and uh, changes that. All right, everyone. Have a good day. Talk to you later. And um, if there's something to report, I'll be back at the uh, mid-afternoon update. Talk to you later. Bye.